Hey there folks, this is Bobo the Vulture, and this is Let's Play Uncharted Waters New Horizons. Who are your Super Nintendo? Um, apparently now out on Wii Virtual Console, from what I hear. Anyways, um, yeah, last you joined us we were in uh, New Zealand, and uh, there's not much going on here at this point. But yes, you'll see we're completely loaded up with food, supplies, good stuff like that. So let's sail away. Sail away for 30 days. And we'll explore this little island. Because, you know, why the F not, right? We might find a village and our famous adventure might go up. All distinct possibilities. Okay, so none of that really happened. Also, just because I'm a neat freak, it's going to annoy me that that tiny strip of uh, water underneath, just to the south of uh, New Zealand here, is gone unexplored by us. <coughs> also, we're kind of getting to the point where uh, we're running out of coastlines to sort of, you know, hug and explore and check out. Um... If I, uh, go with Bitbucket Cynic as my guide, which, honestly, you always should, Jiminy Cricket would be proud if you did, um, <clears throat> we're kind of running out of land masses to, uh, explore here, folks. Um, I mean, clearly there are plenty more small islands out in the oceans, in the actual world, but, um, you know, I mean, it's not as though all of these islands... I'm just gonna supply up once more, because I'm about to go ahead and uh, trek out across the Atlantic. Or, sorry, trek out across the Pacific. Let's supply up. Alright. And shove off. We can sail for a month. And so we shall. And so we shall. What I figure I'm gonna do is, well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and explore that last little bit of the Antarctic coast there, and then come back up South America again, and uh, sort of bump around in here, according again to BBC, the Bitbucket Cynic, um, who's proven to be a fairly reliable source on matters of uh, Koei. Um, well, actually, as far as I know, he may know nothing about Romance of the Three Kingdoms or uh, Nobunaga's Ambition. But, uh, hey, that's alright. I don't know that much about them either. I have been watching um, Mysterious JD's Let's Play of Romance of the Three Kingdoms 10, and I have to admit, um, the game looks like a lot of fun. I mean, because it's just, you know, it's... Oh, our crew. Our crew's getting paid. But the game looks like a lot of fun, because it's, you know, you're following an individual character or officer through history, so it, it's, I guess it's more relatable. It's the struggles of one person as opposed to the struggles of, you know, this mighty empire where you're micromanaging every person that's in it. Although I'm sure that eventually to be really successful in Romance of the Three Kingdoms 10, you probably have to micromanage every officer. But that's another story for another day. For right now, we gotta keep on trucking along the uh, Antarctic coast. Hopefully, the wind will keep up. Because uh, we had the wind completely die in a uh, previous uh, video when I was cruising along the Antarctic. Um, there are some ships in this game, I believe, that can be oared. None of the ships that I have can. I just didn't find it an important feature. I think some of, like, the galleons and stuff like that. Like, you know, the guys, you can actually get your men to just sort of bust out the oars and keep going. So I'm guessing even if you have no wind, then you're still fine. It's all good. In the hood. Okay, we've reached the halfway point for our food supply. But, uh... We've also reached the Strait of Magellan here. So it doesn't matter. 
Let's uh, come up the coast here. Uh, mainly villages along here. There were uh, actual uh, ports along here somewhere, weren't there? I believe there was, because I was looking at it and thinking, hey, if we just went to this one port and then just sort of bore west, we would eventually hit Tahiti. And it looked like it might be around. Like, you know, and it'd be not a bad latitude to start looking for where they placed the Galapagos Islands in this game. Galapagos Islands should not be too far off the, uh... We're gonna stop in Melendo, sure. <coughs> Ahoy there, matey. Will you be shoving off? I will supply first. But, uh, yes, after I do that, I will be showing off. Let's see. Another 30 days, another $30. Hopefully more than that. But yeah, if I just, uh, head west from here... Actually, the Galapagos should be a little north of here, shouldn't they? I'm not totally maximizing my, uh, map searching. No! It's alright. I believe I should be able to reach Tahiti if I don't find the Galapagos along this. Hey! Wait a minute. What's this little dot? I found the Galapagos! Commander, we found a village. Our fame has gone up. Let's, uh, drop an anchor on this place. And we'll do a search. We didn't find anything. I wonder whether or not this is a place where we are going to find super awesome, uh, you know, rare animals. Because that was the whole thing about the Galapagos Islands, wasn't it? this island completely untouched by humanity so that uh, they could observe how uh, nature would evolve on its own in uh, this remote environment. Although, you know, that's all out the door considering we just found a village and we are entertaining locals, unless we're like entertaining the turtles and like birds and stuff that hang out here. Then that's all neither here nor there. We're not finding anything. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty good item, whatever it is. If we get it up to 60, it'll be worth uh, selling off to uh, What's-His-Face in Portugal instead of uh, giving to the king. We discovered an exotic animal! Okay, so it might not be worth This might just be like a B-class. We discover the giant tur tortoise. A large, slow-moving tortoise that can weigh as much as 500 pounds. Its domed shell sometimes grows as long as three feet and serves as protection for its elephant-like skin. Oh, there you go, folks. Elephant-like skin. Let's sail. Now then. What's the best way back home? I suppose if we go this way, um... If we cross the Americas, go back that route, that's a possibility. If only the Panama Canal had been constructed! Eh, uh, well, but it's not. No grousing will do any good now. Let's see, how many days have we been out? We've barely been out. Let's just head straight south. Go ahead and curl around. And, you know, I can, uh... Can hit the, uh... Might ho hop up to Timbuktu or someplace like that. Find some gold. Bring the gold back. You know how gold can be. Mighty delicious. That's how it can be. Uh, 
Oh no, I'm leaving a small fragment of ocean unexplored over here. Can I see you now, small fragment of ocean? I can! Well then, I'm going to proceed at base. I'm beginning to question the wisdom of my decision, come to think of it, because, uh... Actually, around the Strait of Magellan down there... Um... I don't recall there actually be... Yeah, there was a village down that way, but not actually a, uh... A... A port. Commodore, our crew was paid 80 gold pieces in wages. And by the way... Happy New Year! Woohoo! Everybody wants to spend the new year on a boat, mother -fuckers. Yeah. Are we just having very slow going because the wind is against us? Oh, the wind is against us. We're heading out at about 19 knots. 19 knots, is that right? Might be fast. Alrighty, men, hard to port. Yeah, this boat has amazing handling capabilities. So I can just do 90 degree turns like that, no problem. Wait, no, that actually is the. Ah, uh... oh, let me through. Oh good, you are not a notorious pirate. I was worried that you were going to be a notorious pirate. One thing it's possible to do in this game, I believe, although I've not tried it, I've not done it, because I don't want to be a dick. But it is possible to, if you found a village, and you're, you know, like you're out of food, you desperately need to get supplies for your crew. Um, and you come across a village, you can ransack the village. But again, I'm not doing that. I don't want to be a dick. We're going to stop in Montevideo. That's okay. Hey, congratulations, Hans. Your navigation level and leadership went up. Hey! Give my congratulations to Niccolo as well. His navigation and seamanship and knowledge went up. Wow, what a difference. It's Montevideo. I probably made that joke before. Just what I think whenever I see Montevideo. Oh no, they didn't have any food on that one ship. We can sail away for 30 days. Oh, come to think of it, I haven't really thoroughly explored the Caribbean, have I? Yeah. There are definite gaps in my knowledge on the coast of the Caribbean there. So maybe what I should do is... Nah, I'm just wasting time. But yeah, I should sail up the coast here. As far as... As far as the Spanish Silver Train. Should come try and find those guys. Those guys are crazy. Spanish Silver Train guys. Yeah, I don't need to be exploring any more rivers right now, thanks. Not here, not now. Now, I'm under the impression there will probably be some friendly ports up here for me to uh, check out. Maybe not quite this far out. <clears throat> but the Caribbean is an area that is, you know, pretty well speckled with ports. I'm not too worried about 
being lost out here and running out of supplies, is what I mean. Now what could happen is, you know, storm could break and then I'd be totally SOL. Because storms, depending on their severity and your luck, can just completely ruin your voyage within, you know, 5-10 seconds. You might have to have a kind of crappy ship for that, but it's definitely possible. Anything? Nothing? Come on, these are all like little islands. Hey, a storm's headed our way. Let's weigh anchor. It's a storm, yes, let me weigh anchor on this tiny nugget of land. And then we'll wait for a while. That's right, it's a land nugget. Watch, it'll turn out that's Dominica. It's the one I'm, the one Caribbean island that I know somebody. We're going to stop in Margaritaville. It's going to be awesome. Hey, folks. Hey, old man. Port has nothing special, huh? That kind of sucks. What can you do for me? What can you do for me? Oh, I forgot. I'm not actually looking for anything from you. Although they do have silver. The Spanish silver train! By the way, don't you two think it's about time you took the oath? Take the oath? <laughs> what are you talking about? Why, your marriage, of course! The marriage oath! What? <laughs> Come on, cut it out now, Hans. It's embarrassing. Stop your joking now, Hans. You know we are not involved in that way, right, Ernst? I only have eyes for Quan Ping! Well, if you say so. Phew. I dodged a bullet there. Marriage to Zing Chi. Bleh. Marriage to Zing Kai would be, uh. Ahoy there, matey. Will you be shoving off? Gotta go ahead and supply. Probably don't need to supply. Like I said, there's. Lots of friendly ports floating among the many and varied little islands of the Caribbean where people uh, make sure to secure themselves using carabiners. I just okay, yeah. I haven't gotten a real close look at uh, all of these islands, so I should probably. Yeah, like Santo Domingo. I would never have found the port of Santo Domingo. Storms are coming. Let's weigh anchor. And wait. I believe, um... Yeah, I think we're uh, hanging out on the island of Hispaniola. Home to Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Not that this point, but, you know. We weathered the storm. We're good. Let's get moving. We found Jamaica. We found Santiago. Oh, our crew was paid 80 pieces of wages. Commodore, we found money. Alright, that was pretty fruitful. Our fame has gone up significantly just by bumping into a bunch of islands. Possibly. It's possible that we've actually gained no knowledge from all of this experience. I tend to think we've learned something. You know what? I'm gonna take a big risk and just stop in the port. Actually, I've probably just lost a ton of money by doing that. Because now the boats will be damaged and need repairs because I was out for 
literally seconds. Well, while I'm up, I'm gonna come over here and check out the item shop, see what the extra special item is. For a limited time only, we're selling some really special items that you don't usually see. What do you sell? It's a really special item that you don't usually see. Lime juice. Way to go, buddy. That was a good use of my time. Hey, old man. What's going on here? Really? Nothing special in Santiago. That's a shame. More's the pity. What do you have to say? Oh, light galley, huh? That's good. Be sure to stock... You work for the guy in the shop, don't you? Jerk. Pretty sure I already have some lime juice. I've just never had an outbreak of scurvy. Knock on wood. As I just did. What brings you to the shipyard? How about some repairs for the John B? Okay. I know what he said, that it was like galley. Oh, they're both like galleys. I was just curious to see what other kinds of ships they might have. I don't have any kinds of ships worth note. Alright. And this port had nothing special. So I'm just going to go ahead and get some supplies. Will you be shoving off? I will supply first, and then yes, I will shove off. Let's see. We can sail for a month. We don't need to. Let's land, and let's wait around, and... Yeah. It's a storm, sure enough. Now, I'm wondering whether or not um, continuing to explore around the Atlantic coastline here is going to gain us any more tiny islands. I believe, have we already discovered the Bahamas? Looks like they're on the map there. I don't know if we have seen Bermuda yet. I don't know if Bermuda is on this uh, little. And uh, that I don't know if Bermuda is 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 is, uh, is island enough to register for Koei exploration game purposes. I have a friend who lives in Bermuda. Actually, my uh, former college roommate. Uh, he's a music major, and now he is a banker in Bermuda. Go figure. Alright. Let's say love. You know, or not, we could not sail off, too. That's also a possibility. Yeah, I know. I know, it's a storm. It's a storm, and then there are the waves, and the ship, it's going all crazy. We weathered the storm. But for how long? I got the feeling if I do any sailing north here, I'm going to come up here and find uh, Looks like it's not here, but uh, it would register as a little blip on the map either way. I'm going to go ahead and plow through here. I'll cross the ocean at approximately this latitude, see whether or not that uh, maps out this last big chunk of the, uh, the storms are coming. It's a storm. Quick, grab hold of this random dot. Boy, that was a handy little handhold, wasn't it? Also, how's the mapping going? Had some stellar cartography.
Yep, it's a storm, all right. Okay, so there we go. We have uh, we've managed to make our way. Heck, at this point, I'm wondering whether or not it's going to even be worth, uh... Yeah, okay, so there is no, uh... When you're in town, you can check to see your reputation and your, uh... Your reputation and your money and all that stuff, but, um... Not so much while you are out at sea. You need to keep your mind on nautical matters when you're doing that, son. Well now. Oh right, I was wondering how close we were and then I remembered we haven't hit the tiny hitch which uh, details to you that you have reached the end of the world. Actually, I should start hooking up north here a little bit. Can map out this section of the uh, map too. Wait, was that? Okay, that was just a speck on my monitor. I thought that was a small island over there. Let's sail just a touch farther north. And now, let's cross the world. And make a run for Lisbon. I mean, I suppose I can pick up a crap ton of rock salt, just, you know. Just to have, because I like rock salt so much. Not in terms of, you know, being a real profitable exercise. Yeah, let's stop in Lisbon. Let's stop in Lisbon and completely fill up with rock salt. We'll only be able to navigate around for like six days, but that's all we need to be able to do. Let's go ahead and get our ship repaired, too. What brings you to this shipyard? Um, I'm, my ship's broke, Doc. How about the John B.? Oh, light damage to both ships. What ships do you have? You have a Flemish Galleon. Nice. This ship isn't bad. Just remember the payload is high. Like, it's high up on the ship, so it lists at sea or something? Here is a Zebet. For such a large ship, it's quite easy to maneuver. I highly recommend it. And actually, it does look like a pretty good ship. A, uh, an adventurous trading type might be interested in, but uh, I don't need one. I'm just checking all these out, because they're fun. Yeah, this is a battleship, but it's also useful for trading if its payload is kept low. Not for the unseasoned sailor. My guys are all seasoned by this point. They're like seasoned salt. Um... I forget what the character was about. Alright. Just out of curiosity, I don't think I'm... I don't, I, I'm not going to buy it. I don't need it. But uh, I'm curious as to what he's asking. 60,000. I think he'll accept as low as 49,200. Oh, you know, it's kind of tempting. But no. Don't need it. It'll only be, you know, four of my ingots... But, uh, I like my ingots. Give me them ducats. Oh, man, what can I do for you? 20% tax. Rock salt is the local specialty. Okay. That price is acceptable. I don't think it is. I think 40 is a good price. You can fool me. 43, give it to me. Now, I have had at least one or two people, Mysterious JG specifically, uh, mention to me he doesn't understand what the deal is. Why, is. why is Antoine saying that it's okay price, and then he's saying that uh, it's... that it should be lower. And I think it's just like he knows that going in he's only going to be able to dicker him down a certain extent. Seems a little expensive. Well, fine then, I won't get it. 
trust you, man. I trust you, you my blood. You and me, we tight. Ahoy there, matey. Will you be shoving off? Yeah, I guess so. We can sail for ten days. See? We got plenty of time. I can make another stop along the way for, uh... grapes or wool or something. Yeah, I might as well stop for wool. I guess wool in London, right? Commodore, we got paid! I'm gonna stop in London, I'm sure. Let's stop in London. It's the capital of England. It's a capital idea. Oh, it's kind of late night here. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's tuck in for the evening, then. Unless... There's a really talented, experienced navigator at the cafe. Is there? No. There's Victor Russell and Lawrence Edwards. What do you want with me? I am Commodore Russell of England. I command a battle fleet. Okay. What do you want with me? I'm a vagabond sailor. Hey, he's that guy that gave us the map, isn't he? I should have thanked you. For being so terrible at uh, getting whatever the treasure was. Alright. Um, what did I buy? The no, 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 not world map, not world map. Get off of the world map. Thank you. It's the journal, yes. How much did I buy that uh, for? 47? 43. Alright, so, 43 locks of rock, lots of rock salt. Oh. I didn't even end up buying the wool. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna go back with this wool. I'm not doing a super max run of this game anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and stop in Amsterdam. I didn't have to sail for long. Alright, let's go sell our goods. May I help you? You can buy my goods. They're good. That is pretty good. How about 244? How about selling all of it? No! I'm going to get less than ideal for one of them. Wait. Doesn't matter. I got more money now. Look at all my money. Well. Yeah, I guess we can do this in this video. Gonna come talk to Mercator. I don't know how much left there is to map. Oh, Ernst, I take it you've brought me some new information. Yeah? Here, have a report. Thank you for all your hard work. Here's your pay, 64,720 gold pieces. Come back again. Oh, okay. I guess I'll come back again. Governor General, anybody looking for me? I'm gonna go to the, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to the Governor General. I somehow feel like I should have something going on here. Welcome, Viscount Von Boer. Viscount Von Boer, for all your Discount Von Boer needs. Nope, I don't need anything. I just came by to say hi. Well, I'll be, folks. I was kind of expecting now that we've pretty much... I mean, am I missing something? Am I missing a big mass of land or something somewhere out here in the world? 
I mean, I guess there are tracts of the Pacific and Atlantic and the Indian Ocean that, like, you know, we haven't just gone through, but there's nothing in them, really. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'm missing something. I guess next time, folks, we're just going to go out and have another expedition. Not much else for it, really. This is, uh, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Uncharted Waters New Horizons. I have to think that we're, uh, getting near the end here, though. I mean, maybe some more time out and about on a boat, um, clearing up, uh, you know, some of these black spotches of ocean, but really, aside from that, I think we gotta be pretty near the end of, uh, our mission for Mercator. But, um... We'll get even closer next time, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye now.